<coughs> in the beginning, she found herself in a new and empty space. And all was white. And the corners were a bit flaky. And the carpet was a bit manky. But it was a good space. And she sat in the center and saw a clean white sheet of void. She held the charm to her face. And reflected in the charm was a city of lost horizons and tall and towering stories. And just as it had been reflected in the charm, so it appeared in the void. And when there was no more room, she turned it over and continued on the other side. And so the void was filled from corner to corner on both sides. A city of front and back. A city of light and shadow. Then she rested on her bed and dreamed of her creation and the lives that inhabited it. And in the days that followed, there were other voids and other lights and other shadows. The charm she placed beneath the sign of the queen to show the city that she knew it would never be finished because the city was her life and her dream and it would live forever. Thank you. I think I'm not quite sure I understood it all. Yeah, well, who does? I certainly don't. Hello. I think you've made a friend. Ah, a really useful book. Remember what your mother said. Why don't you look out the window? Really useful. Utter piffle. Sounds perfectly useless to 